So, you want to be a movie director. Uh, it's not a piece of cake actually, but let's see how can we do it. <laughs> This is the 0.5 crown, the best cinema maniac film maker in the whole world. And you are watching now the cinema magazine. Today we will talk about best ways to make you a great film director. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to this channel as we pre present every single day a different episode about cinema and movies and filmmaking tutorials and editing tutorials, fixing posts, actors news, actresses news, cinema news and scandals of great actors and juicy news. Also, I will appreciate a like and comment in the comment section below. Tell me and ask me anything you want to know about cinema and filmmaking and I will be totally glad to answer you back on your comments. Let's start today's episode. One more thing before starting today's episode. Exclusive for 0.5 clown fans. If you want to win this great H1N4 Zoom Recorder from the great company Zoom Recorders. Just watch till the end of this video and answer the question and email us the right answer. One right answer will be chosen randomly and win this great recorder. The right answer and the winner will be announced in the next episode tomorrow. You will find the email address in the description below. Let's start today's episode. You dream of directing. You can see the lights, the camera, the action. Whether it be directing commercial, short films, or one day directing feature films, you have a big dream. As many before me have said, it is no easy path, but it's doable with hard work. However, even if you have the drive and energy to do what it takes, it's hard to aim that energy if you aren't sure where to get started. For now, I will assume that you are really starting from zero and haven't made a lot of progress toward your goal, but you are ready to start. But before we start, let's escape this popular question. Should I go to film school? or figure it out myself. There is no right answer in this matter. A lot of great directors did go to film school, and a lot of great directors didn't go to film school. So this is totally on you. So let's start our ways. Three, two, one, action. Number one, get to any film set you can. What does this do for you? By getting on a ton of sets and experiencing different things, you will be immersing yourself into the practice of filmmakers. As with those learning a second language and living within a foreign country, you too will learn more quickly if you live in a filmmaking environment. Number 2. Get experience in different crew roles. On my first set, I was an extra then a script supervisor. After that, I was a grip. Then I was a gaffer, assistant camera, and so on. This is highly valuable for a director for several reasons. First, when you get started, you won't always have all the, the crew you need. Second, as you grow and work with more crew, you will be a better director. Action! Number 3. Write, shoot, edit, collaborate, repeat. This is where things get real. In the end, a director is a storyteller. You must write, shoot, edit, and repeat. So you will make a painful mistakes and criticize yourself harshly. You will be growing in leaps and pounds with each project. Whether you write, shoot, 
and edit a scenario, a short scene, a skit, or an entire short film. You need to practice. Number four, stay outside your comfort zone. The place where you will make the most progress is always somewhere between comfortable and stressed. There is a place where a moderate amount of stress and a new experience will help you grow. Most people just call that getting out of your comfort zone. But science packs me up on this. Good stress is a real thing. God. Number 5. Make your first movie. You want to be a director? Get your camera and remember that there will never be a perfect time. Nor will you ever have everything you think you need to make a film. Eventually, you have to make the leap. At the end, I wish you best of luck and remember, always get to work on that dream of yours. Time for this episode's question. In which movie the biggest star, Bruce Willis, played a time-traveling criminal? Thank you so much for watching this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, like and comment this video and ask me anything about cinema and filmmaking and I will answer it in your comments. Thank you and see you in the next episode.